So I've been in meetings all day today, uh, just basically talking farm business, just some finances and farm inputs, all that good stuff. Pretty much coffeeed out. This uh, message came across my screen today. I'm in central Texas and on the B form, a post of several hundred hives were stolen from southeast of my state. I read about five commercial beekeepers losing inventory due to theft. <clears throat> I'm baffled the commercial beekeepers don't keep some kind of a hive with some sort of beacon on. What's your take on this and could you do a subject matter on it? I truly have never seen a commercial beekeeper so open and honest with sharing and I thank you for your dedication. I view, and this is the good part, I view you as the exception to the rule. You're the needle in the haystack. Really, you are what you have been sharing with the rest of us in YouTube videos. Thank you, Zach. Well, to address that issue, the issue of theft, I have not yet had to deal with theft yet. Um, it's maybe just a matter of time. I have like 40 yards spread around and it's a lot of them are visible from the road. And, you know, I don't know how to actually deal with it other than trail cameras. I have trail cameras set in some of, some of my yards, especially the ones with the highest amount of traffic that goes through. And what I mean by that is I have bees in areas very suited to beekeeping, like in gravel pits and you know, reclaim gravel pits and such. But those are also, you know, hotbeds for parties. So I might get a little more of a crowd that goes through. That's maybe up to a little bit more mischief. And I've had a little bit of vandalism done to some of my hives, which I don't like, but I can kind of understand because I was a teenager once too. And, you know, the fun thing to do so I have trail cameras up in some of these yards and it and I've caught a few guys, you know, being a nuisance and you know, some guys will drive over your hives and it's and it's not very fun because I put a lot of time and effort into these hives and they're my babies. So it makes me very angry. But uh you know, I see who does it. And I realize it's it's done by a bunch of dumbasses probably in a dumbass situation, drinking a bunch of dumbass drinks. And probably trying to show off in front of the girl in front in the vehicle with them. So, you know, I know who they are. And certainly not going to give them a job. And certainly not going to buy them a beer in the pub when I see them. But in regards to theft, I haven't had any bees stolen. I might have had a couple pallets stolen off me one time because one of my yards is running short. But uh, for the most part, I haven't had trouble. You see, it kind of runs along the same lines as cattle theft. We have pastures spread around too, and, pa and animals are, you know, they have some value on them. And you, and you hear about guys losing animals, uh, you know, trailers get backed up and animals go missing. And that's a big concern. It was just, I like, uh, I like to think my neighbors are vigilant. They keep their eye open. And if there's any uh, suspicious activity, you know, we hope we'd get notified about it. We haven't had cattle uh, thefted yet. Maybe it's just a matter of time too. Also, it runs along the same lines as grain theft. Um, you always hear about grain theft and uh, there's things you can do with that. You can put this confetti type in your grain that you can't really see, but uh, when the guys and it, it gets all mixed through the sample. And when the guys try selling it, uh, the elevator usually picks up this confetti and it has a bar tag on it. So it's registered to the producer who put it in. So there's guys been tracked down that way and they get caught. We're starting to uh, consolidate a lot of our grain storage on farm with these uh, uh, big aeration grain bins which adds a whole level of management ability to our farm. Uh, so it's providing us huge, a huge resource. Uh, but at the same time, we're being able to secure a grain uh, 
from theft a lot better. So that's an indirect uh, uh, result from the whole process. I hope I don't have to worry about theft. I know there's there's guys talking about theft in California and like what you're talking about, uh, where you have a lot of hives being moved into a small area with uh, people working those hives that aren't typically the owners. Like you have brokers and movers and such. So nobody really knows who's working whose hives and whose hives are whose. It's all sorted out with brokers and uh, and growers and you know so it can get really confusing and so there might be uh, there might be more opportunity for theft there and I don't like it one bit I mean we work our entire life uh, dedicated to keeping these bees healthy and we pour our life and soul into these hives and then someone goes and steals them I mean you can lock these guys up for a long time as far as I'm considered I know beekeepers like to brand their equipment and that follows along the same line as as branding your livestock. You brand them and it, it it's you, you can't remove brands very easily. So it uh, that brand moves along with that animal regardless who owns it. So to transfer that animal you have to transfer it through a registry. And that's a lot of guys who run animals on rangeland will use branding just for the very fact of of preventing theft so that's basically what I base my thought around you can only worry about things you can control uh, you got to be vigilant okay and if you feel that if you're at risk uh, maybe you should look into some kind of a tracking system that sounds very interesting but for the most part I hope that answered your question and I appreciate the feedback and let me know how you make out this year